All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. And I am coming to you today from a deer stand and a deer blind that I put my buddy in and um, he lost his AirPods, right? And since he lost his AirPods and I'm out here looking for them, it got me thinking about technology in nursing and in healthcare and the future use cases of technology and the future use cases that we're gonna have uh, coming up. now. I say that though, but I also want to talk about the limitations of technology in healthcare. Now, when COVID came in and everybody started doing telehealth or doing uh, Zoom meetings and things like that, while there are some really, really good use cases for that, at the end of the day, medicine and nursing is a hands-on career field. And I say that not dogging technology, but talking about just the limitations of it. For instance, Nursing is a hands-on career field. Uh, assessing patients is a hands-on career field. You're always gonna have to look, listen, you know, palpate, look at someone's gait, look at their posture. All of that stuff is always very, very important in healthcare, and most of you guys know that. But I say that because this whole series that I'm doing about the future of nursing, I want you guys to understand there are still, still some good use cases for something like telehealth, right? But it has to be integrated properly. And that's really the, the number one thing that we're thinking about in healthcare is integrating these technologies to assist us. Something like telehealth, I can understand that can be used for something like stroke victims in the ER or when you're actually in the ER, we've had that before. Now, on the flip side of that, it can also be used to, to uh, kind of screen out some of the things that don't even need to be in the ER or don't even need to be in an urgent care something that can be handled such as a cold or a flu or something like that. In many cases, you can do that, get a prescription called in and be on your way. And that can kind of help alleviate some of the burden on the hospitals, on the nurse, on the ERs and urgent cares. Now, the other part I want to talk about, and this is probably the most important part, is EMRs, you know, electronic medical records. Implementing EMR system is one of the most difficult things a, uh, a hospital will do because many of them, if, if you guys have never went through a transition with a hospital transitioning from say Cerner to Epic or from Meditech to Cerner, vice versa, whatever, it's one of the biggest projects that a hospital can undergo. And when you start talking about that and you start talking about logistics and you start talking about communication, um, those are very, very big things. Many, many uh, hospital administrators have been fired over the implementation of a, an, an EMR or a bad implementation of an EMR. The reason healthcare is so difficult, so difficult to predict is there's never, you're not selling iPhones here, right? You're not selling drink Coca-Colas. You're not selling like products. Be, and, and, and that makes it very difficult to determine how much a hospital is going to get every month. Yeah, you have medical, uh, Medicaid, Medicare reimbursement rates, right? But it's still, you don't know what insurance is going to pay and you don't know what the insurers are going to pay, what they're not going to pay, what they're going to reimburse. And it's very, very difficult for these CFOs to determine how much money is going to be coming in a certain month or a certain year or something like that. They can get a rough idea, but it's never really a perfect idea. Like I said, you're not selling products. You're dealing with human beings. You're dealing with sickness. You're dealing with... Uh, very complex situations and you throw economics and trying and bill rates and insurance and all this stuff into it and it's very difficult uh, to kind of predict. And that also goes back to something like the EMRs because if something's not properly uh, documented right, well, if it's not coded right in the, in the right EMR, then you're not gonna get your reimbursement rate. So I talk about that and I bring that up because I want you guys to think about how difficult technology, economics, and kind of the crossover of all that is, and there's always going to be limitations with that. And as we move forward, as, as technology gets better, right, as things change, I just wanted to say this, that we're always going to be limited in healthcare on what we can do, because at the end of the day, healthcare is a hands-on career field. You're always going to have to be looking at your patients, assessing your patients, and, it, and, and, and if it, until 50, 100 years from now, and technology gets super, super good, I think we're going to be kind of going down the same road at a road at a very, very slow pace with the implementation of new technology. All right, guys. Peace out.